Broadcasting live worldwide. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Half Faith, Let It Begin. It's Wednesday, and you know what that means. Half Faith, Let It Begin is on the air. Folks, I have got so much to talk about that the introduction and the opening monologue would be way too long before I even start the episode. I just want to welcome you and tell you, strap on your seatbelts, make sure your trade tables are in the upright positions. We're flying air, half faith, and it starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Ariel, can you say have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say have faith. Let it begin. No, no, no. no? Okay. It's a boy. Hi, Noah. Oh. Noah. Oh, Noah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Noah. Did it? Oh, did it was amazing. Did it fit those <laughs> Noah. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. It's half faith. Let it begin. My name is Angel, and welcome to another edition, folks. So much to tell. Let's do it right now. So four days ago, as you may not have already known, I started my new weight loss journey and I'm happy to announce that I am nine pounds down. So we have exactly 41 pounds to go. Thank you so much for your support and your prayers. I gladly appreciate it. A little sore from from doing, uh, you know, CrossFit, but you know what? The journey continues. In addition... We also have our Half Faith Let It Begin jerseys and t-shirts. They have finally come in. I will be making sure I take a picture, putting it on our website. And on the very next episode, we will have a picture version of it. I cannot wait to share it with all of you. They have We have two versions, black and royal blue. I'm so excited. In addition to that, I had my procedure yesterday. Uh, for those of you that didn't know, I had my five-year colonoscopy checkup. Everything looks great. Uh, We're just going to wait for further testing, but through and through, uh, no pun intended, they said it looked excellent. So, so much to talk about, and how do we even fit all that into an episode today? Well, it's quite very, very fitting that I wanted to talk about how great is our God. We're getting closer and closer to our Easter Sunday, and we're also getting close to Good Friday. Sometimes we think about all the things that have happened to our Lord and Savior, And all the things that continue to happen to us. You know, yesterday I'm sitting in the chair waiting to get my IV put in. And I know that in my history of having IVs put in, sometimes they got to poke me a couple times before they find the vein. In this situation, I was pretty much dehydrated from doing all the prep work for the colonoscopy. And it was very difficult for the young lady to find the veins. So she tried my right arm and no success. She went to my left wrist, no success. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, and she's apologizing to me, saying, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I, to which I replied, I said, listen, it's okay. Don't worry. I forgive you. And she started laughing. And I'm sitting in the chair, though, and I'm thinking about all that Jesus endures, all those nails and being hung up on the cross. And here I am maybe for about two seconds feeling that little pinch and somebody's apologizing for doing it. Yet, when they were doing that to him, there was no apologies. They were doing their job. They hung him up. We go through so much pain here on this world, in this earth, mentally, physically, sometimes verbally. And we don't stop to think about all that he did for us so here's my challenge to all of you today when you think you have it rough when you're feeling that pain when you're sitting there and wondering when is it going to stop think about all that he has done think about in those moments when they stripped him down when they basically just strapped them with leather straps with hooks and then they nailed them to the cross all that pain 
and yet he was still asking for forgiveness to those that have done that to him. I learned a valuable lesson yesterday. I learned that holding grudges, treating other people different because maybe they were treating you wrongly, maybe being a little bit more silent, maybe not understanding where other people's lives may be. We have to be one and the same. We have to learn to love. We have to learn to forgive. We have to move forward. Because when we don't, they're not setting you back. You're setting yourself back. And you're not moving in the right direction. You know, a lot of times in the past, I've always mocked, and I'll be very honest, I've always mocked those individuals that have gone to church and said to me, if you don't do this, you're going to hell. If you don't do this, you're going this. And I've never been taught that. I've never been preached to that way. And I certainly would never say that to anybody because I don't believe in that type of verbiage. I don't believe in talking like that to others. But I will say that it's so important to try and learn to forgive and to love and to respect others. Because that's exactly what our Lord and Savior wants. He wants us to walk that, that path, that path of goodness. Because when you walk that path, it is, a, it is a path of righteousness. Now, it's not easy to do. By no means am I even saying that that's going to be easy. But it's a start. And just like we do anything in, in life, learning a new program, learning how to drive, learning how to accomplish a new task or a new daily goal. We have to start somewhere. We're not perfect at it. But when we get there, we can do it with our eyes closed. Try your best to forgive. Try to understand others. Because that's what God intended us to do. So today, on this glorious day, may God be with each and every one of you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. I'd like to also give a shout out to all my fellow telemarketers and all of my customer service representatives because this week is National Telecommunications Week and I'm so proud to say that I'm one of those people. Have a beautiful day and we'll talk tomorrow. And never forget, have faith Let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, man, love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we improve. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day.